Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Network the Baron GH, aka Afrobis underscore King, one, two, three. So today we are back in the kitchen and have a super guest, and he will definitely introduce himself and tell us what he's gonna cook. So stay tuned and let's see. Hello, I'm Homeboy. My real name is Moha. I'm from Morocco. I'm 22 years old, and today I'm gonna prepare Zalouk, a very typical Moroccan dish and carrots with a very typical sauce of Morocco that we call it charmoula. We can use it for a lot of things but I choose these two typical dishes. I hope you like it. the carrots like we need five minutes more we need to flip this let's get to take getting a good look now we prepare this we're preparing the other we have the tomatoes here waiting for us and uh, keep in touch now it's time for the eggplant we're gonna prepare it when we when we have the tomatoes on the fire carrots like they are done we prepared everything now it's time to mix with the parsley with the garlic at the fire, we're gonna put the cumin, the salt, paprika. Cumin is very important in our in our foods, in our dishes. It's very typical. It gave this taste, uh, amazing taste. You know something? Here in Spain, uh, like uh, years ago, they changed the the menus by adding a little bit of cumin. Mm -hmm. So the normal client, they came every day, they say, "Whoa, what is this?" And the chefs told them, it's a secret. What secret? It's common. We used it like 100 years ago, a lot of years ago. And now you're going to see. Look at that, man. What? Now that we put the tomato with the sauce, we cut the eggplant and when we, we see the tomatoes are ready, are done, we add this, we put the fire low and we wait, hungry. So can you please tell us how long have you been in Spain? 14 years. 14 years, okay. And what do you do for living? I mean, are you, are you using the cooking as your main job or what do you do? No, my, I always work it as the bartender mm -hmm. or at the bar making cocktails okay. or shishas because I always love to serve people, mm -hmm. you know, to, to give them what they want. <clears throat> but then I just saw that that's not my place. Mm -hmm. I don't want to grow up there. Mm -hmm. So I found like my passion, dance and cooking. Exactly. And it's wonderful, really. I, I started cooking like... Uh, Two years ago, I started to learn in October okay. 2020, and uh, I'm so grateful for what I, what I learned, what I learned from people, okay. because there is a lot of good uh, chefs, chefs around us, but we can see them, and uh, that's it. I really want to thank you for the the interview yeah. and the and the opportunity, yeah. and the, if you want anything else, I'm here. And do you enjoy enjoy doing it? And how is it like in Barcelona with the cooking and other things like that? For for what I know, when you work in a place with too much stress, even if it's your patient, it's not gonna be like when you cook home. Yeah. When you cook home, it's like peace. I feel <laughs> like in peace. When I'm so angry, I come at the kitchen. Yeah. Even bread with with butter, I do it like with time. Get, taking my, you know, I smile when I say when I talk yeah. about it because I love it. But um, I didn't find uh, what I found in my kitchen, in others' kitchen. Yeah. The peace and to work alone and enjoy what you do. Exactly. 
It's like when you are in cypher dancing with a lot of people, you're not going to express and take exactly. the time. That's what I feel. That's what give me here. Thank you very much. The, pl the pleasure is mine, bro. So guys, that's the end of this, today's video. I hope you like it. Do me a favor, subscribe, share, and like. See you in the next video. Peace out.